how a blow-off valve works. Sometimes called a recirculating valve, dump valve, or blow-off valve, a blow-off valve is actually very simple in how it works. Air comes in through this hole from your turbo or whatever and is exhausted through this side. In the inside, there's a piston that is actuated by this vacuum. And how it works is, you see in here there's a piston, and when I push on it, that's the same as having the vacuum actuated. And so this goes from being sealed to going, being unsealed. Now, if installed such that this is the pressure side and this is the release side, you can take as much pressure as there would be because the more pressure you have here, the more it's pushing this closed. If you install it so that is, this is the in and this is the out, then whenever this pressure exceeds a certain amount of pressure, whatever your spring sets to, it will exhaust. So you can decide whether or not you want this to be a pressure release valve as well as a blow-off valve or whether it is just going to be a blow-off valve. This particular one is adjustable and has a spring on the inside and these plates so you can change how much spring tension there is but it also came with three different springs so that you could change the tension very easily. Actually, I'll leave this off. When the spring is off, you can see that this piston goes up and down and open and closes the port. Now, again, this can be set up so that vacuum is pulling that or the pressure from your turbo is, do is pushing this. If you don't have a good wastegate or you're worried that your wastegate might cause you to blow your engine if it got stuck open, installing this so that this is the pressure side makes this a safety valve because whenever you get too much boost pressure, it's going to dump. If you're not worried about such things, making this the inside so that the pressure works to keep the valve closed and only the vacuum can release the pressure is the way to go. So you need to know what your application is. Now, this is a nice chromed up one that looks nice, but most of these are just going to be from Bosch and are just a kind of grayish black color. They're this color. This isn't one of them, but they're this color. Um, and they're going to be typically found very near your um, intercooler or on the other side of your intercooler and going to feed into your intake just past the mass airflow filter, the mass airflow sensor. And now the reason that they need to be past the mass airflow sensor is your mass airflow is keeping check of how much air has come into the system. And if you dump it to atmosphere instead of into the system, back into your intake, then the check is going to be wrong on how much air came in through your mass airflow and your car will start to run rich. So it's very important that you have this installed in the right spot.